What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we are going over one of the most unique rifles in all of Fallout 76. We have the Radium Rifle. Starting off with the weapon, this is it. This is my 3-star legendary Radium Rifle that we're using for the video, and the main legendary effect is the anti-armor effect, which is ignores 50% of your target's armor, has the 25% less VAT's action points cost, and it also has a 25% faster fire rate. This weapon is absolutely insane for commando builds. And the mods that we're using with it is the Prime Automatic Receiver, Aligned Long Barrel, Forceful Stock, Perforating Magazine, Reflex Sight, and the Suppressor. Now, over in the demonstrations, with our all-powerful radium rifle, we've made our way over to the West Tech Research Center, and that's because there's a ton of disgusting green guys over here that need to be vanquished. Starting with this guy, there we go, holy crap. This weapon shoots extremely fast, so it'll be really hard to show the numbers, but here we go. Look at that, it's a bunch of numbers, 627, 300s in there, there's a lot. Look at that, oh my god. But they are dying instantly, look at that, that's insane. This is one of the fastest shooting weapons. Oh, super mutants, could you withstand the power of the radium rifle? Um, I think not. So let me just get on in here real quick. There we go. And we're gonna do this outside of Vats real quick. All right, absolutely amazing. That, that felt the same, that felt just like I was in Vats. Oh, super mutants, where are thou, brotherins? Oh, there they are. We've got two back here. We're gonna get this one inside of Vats. There we go. Absolutely amazing. And then this one outside of Vats. Goodbye, my good sirs. Our next wasteland monstrosity on the list for the demonstrations is the one, the only, the level 100 diseased Myler Queen that goes by the name Mrs. Krabs. Oh my god, she's coming this way. We're gonna obliterate her face. There we go. Absolutely amazing. Holy crap, I just dodged that poison, but barely, but barely. There we go. Absolutely amazing. And the Myler Queen is no more. Next mutated freak on our list for the demonstrations is the one, the only, the level 100 glowing behemoth that, that goes by the name Larry. And we're gonna start by giving him a couple love taps real quick. Hopefully it wakes him up and this uh, gun does not lag out because we're gonna shoot him extremely fast and we're gonna obliterate his face. There we go. Absolutely amazing. Sometimes the game freezes and it does not drop his health, but that time it did. So absolutely amazing. And that behemoth has no head. Now over the in-game commando build that we use for the demonstrations, these are all the base stats that make up the in-game build. So if you want to use the exact build I'm using, this is the start. These are all the base stats without the legendary perk cards equipped. Over the normal perk cards, these are all the normal perk cards that we're using to make up our in-game commando build. Starting off in strength, we have four, and this one can have traveling pharmacy at one star. Weights of all kims, including stim packs, are reduced by 30%. We have blocker maxed out. Take 45% less damage from your opponent's melee attacks. Over in Perception, we have 15, and this one can have all the commando cards maxed out to get the max amount of damage out of this build. We have Ground Pounder at 2 stars. Automatic rifles reload 20% faster and have an even better hit fire accuracy. We have Tank Killer maxed out. Your rifles and pistols ignore 36% armor and have a 9% chance to stagger. We have Concentrated Fire at 1 star. Vets now target Sims. Focus fire to gain high accuracy and damage per shot. Over in Endurance, we have 13, and this one can have Life Giver maxed out. Gain a total of plus 45 to your maximum health. We have Kinfina at 1 star. Any Kims you take lasts 30% longer, and we did take Overdrive and Psychotats in this video. We have Fireproof maxed out, take 45% less damage from explosions and flame attacks. We have Radical maxed out, the greater the Raz, the greater the strength, a max plus 5 to strength. We have Revenant maxed out, gain a plus 50% damage bonus for 2 minutes when a player revives you. We have Rejuvenated maxed out, you gain even better benefits from being fully fed or fully hydrated. Over in Charisma, we have 4 and this one can have Strange in Numbers maxed out. Positive mutation effects are plus 25% stronger if your teammates are also mutated. We have Tenderizer maxed out, make your target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. Over in Intelligence, we have 6 and this we can have first aid at two stars. Stim packs restore 30% more lost health. We have Nerd Rage maxed out. Wall blow 20% health, gain 40 damage resist, 20% damage, and 15% AP regen. We have Gunsmith at one star. Guns break 10% slower, and you can craft a tier one guns. Over in agility, we have 15, and this one can have cover operative maxed out. Your ranged sneak attacks do an additional 50% sneak attack damage. We have Mr. Sandman maxed out. At night, your silence weapons do an additional 100% sneak attack damage. We have Sneak maxed out. You are 75% harder to detect while sneaking. We have Escape Artist maxed out. Sneak to lose enemies and running no longer affects stealth. We have Gunfu at 1 star. Vat swaps targets on kill with a 10% damage to your next target. We have Adrenaline maxed out. Gain a plus 10% max 60% damage for 30 seconds per kill. Duration refreshes with kills. Over in luck we have 15 and this one can have Bloody Mess maxed out. 15% bonus damage means enemies may explode in a gore red pace. We have Tormentor at 1 star. Your rifle attacks have a 5% chance of crippling a limb. We have Grim Reaper Sprint maxed out. Any kill in Vats has a 35% chance to restore all action points. We have Better Criticals maxed out. Vats Criticals now do plus 100% to damage. 
change. We have starch genes maxed out. You'll never mutate from rats, and right away will never cure your mutations. And we have critical savvy maxed out. Critical hits now only consume 55% of your critical meter. Over in the legendary pair cards, these are the legendary pair cards that help make up our in game commando build. Starting off in intelligence, we have that card maxed out. We have endurance maxed out. Strength at three stars. Luck at three stars. Far flung fireworks at two stars. And follow through maxed out. These are the legendary pair cards. Now let's get into my armor, mutations, and buffs. Over in the armor, what we're using is a full set of unyielding gear, which gives us a gain up to plus three to all stats except endurance when low health. And since we're a low health bloody build, that is absolutely amazing. We have the full set of life savings armor. That way I can revive myself when I'm down and get the benefits from Revenant. Over in the unarmor, what I'm using is the shielded secret service unarmor, which gives us a plus four to our strength, a plus two to our perception, and a plus four to endurance. Over my backpack, what I have is my trusty standard backpack with the high capacity mod to get a plus 120 to our carry weight. Over the mutations, these are the mutations that we're using for the build. We have adrenal reaction, bird bones, eagle eyes, egghead, healing factor, herbivore, marsupial, sky skin, and speed demon. Now over in our food and kim buffs, starting off with our food buffs, we have mutt fruit juice to get a plus two to our agility. We have simple firm flower tea to get a plus two to our strength. Potato juice to get a plus 20 to our max AP. Blight soup to get a plus 100% to our critical damage. Carrot soup to get a plus four to perception. And of course, a perfect bubble gum. That way hunger and thirst meters do not increase. Over in our kim buffs, we have overdrive to get a plus 13% to our critical damage. And we have psycho to get a plus 1.35 to our perception. Damage resistance increase and damage plus 11%. Now, if you take them overdrive and psycho tats, you can stack these. If you enjoy fall content like this and you want to see more, I also made a video over one of the most powerful builds in all Fall 76, the Archer build. So if you want to check it out, I'll link in the screen right now. You see that? That is my Archer video.